guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing Miss Lucille's four month update as well as my four month postpartum update. So if you want to hear how last month went, then just keep on watching. If you are new here, welcome. My name is Saber Casey. I am a mom of two little ones. I have a boy named Liam. He is two and a half months old and Miss Lucille here just turned four months. On my channel, you will find lots of mommy content as well as lifestyle, money saving, and cleaning videos. So if that kind of stuff interests you, then make sure to hit that red subscribe button below. So I will start with my update because there's never really a whole lot to talk about. I am still losing my hair like crazy. Every time I brush it or after I wash it and brush it, I mean, it is just like handfuls and handfuls. I've got hair everywhere and it is driving me crazy, but that is totally normal. It's just one of those things. I actually went out without Lucy for the first time just a couple of weeks ago. Um, I had a co-worker text me and she was like, hey, do you want to go see the new Downton Abbey movie? And we're huge Downton Abbey fans. So at first I was like, Ugh, but then I really wanted to see it and she's plenty old enough for me to leave her. So I went uh, to go see that and we went just down the street, saw the movie and came back. So I wasn't gone for too long and it was really good for me. And I think that's something that as moms, we need to do more of. It's just hard. It's hard to leave them, especially when they're, they're this little and then when you're breastfeeding and all that kind of stuff. But I went out for the first time and that's actually the only time I have been away from Lucy thus far. Um, just no opportunities have really come up. As far as weight loss goes, no news on this front. I have actually gained another three pounds. I haven't been doing anything to lose weight. I've got to get on the bandwagon. I have just not been interested. So nothing to report on the weight loss front. I did talk about my hernia in my last update and it, it bothers me sometimes, but it's not an all the time pain. It's really whenever I have been super active with the kids um, and picking up Liam because he he's like 35 pounds he's a big boy um, but like last weekend we were at the pumpkin patch and I was just holding her we went through the corn maze and just like bending and lifting and stuff that just kind of aggravates it so it hasn't gotten worse or anything but it, it's definitely still there I did actually end up going to my doctor to talk about getting medication switched because I was having a really tough time um, not sure if it was postpartum depression or what, but I actually got put on medication when I was pregnant with Lucy and I cannot remember if I talked about it in my pregnancy updates or not. It's not anything I'm, you know, keeping secret or ashamed of. I just, sometimes I just don't mention things. I mean to, and I forget. That's why I try to have a list. Um, anyway, I got put on, um, I believe it's a, I believe it's Zoloft. And that was during my third trimester when I was pregnant with her because I was having just anxiety through the roof to where I just could not function. And anxiety and depression is one of those things that if you haven't personally dealt with it or know somebody who has, it's really hard to explain and it's hard to get it. Um, but anyway, I got put on that during my third trimester and I stayed on it and I was, you know, feeling okay after I had her. And then I just feel like it, I was just having a hard time. And I, I don't really know how else to put it into words, but I was struggling really bad. And I made an appointment and I got in as soon as I could. I wasn't having any, you know, bad thoughts or anything like that, but I was just having a hard time just dealing. And so I went to my doctor and when you're nursing, there it's, it's hard to get put on certain medications because they affect your um, they either affect your milk, which can go to the baby, or they affect your milk supply. So what we decided to do was to double my current dosage of the Zoloft, and I think it helped. Within like a week, I felt so much better. Like I just felt just more more level and just, just so, so much better. So again, I don't know if it was postpartum depression. I didn't realize that you can actually develop postpartum depression up until 12 months after you give birth. I didn't know that. I thought it was just right after because, you know, at all your doctor's appointments, once you hit six weeks, it's like, okay, well, here you go, go on your merry way. So I just, I never thought about it. So I've been dealing with that, but it has gotten a lot better. So on to Miss Lucy's update. I feel like a ton of stuff happened this month. It was a big month. 
She really likes her Mamaru. She um, hangs out on that, not a lot every day, but enough. Um, whenever we're eating dinner or meals, we put her in that so she can see us and she likes to be in that. Um, if I need five minutes to go put laundry up, she likes to sit in it and I love the different functions on it. But anyway, she really likes to be in that. She is still wearing size one diapers. Um, I think she's probably gonna move up to size two pretty quick. We'll probably finish the pack of ones that we're on right now and then move up to twos. She is also still wearing three month clothes. She can wear some three to six month and six month clothes. Y'all know if you have kids, it depends on the brand, but for the most part, she's still in three month clothes. She had her four month checkup yesterday and um, got her shots and everything. And she weighs 13 pounds and five ounces. And she is 20, almost 25 inches long. So it's funny, her weight, she's like in the 31st percentile and then height, she's in the 70th. So it's kind of funny. So she's, you know, she looks good as far as her, her growth chart. The doctor says it looks great, but she's just long. So like in all the footed sleepers and stuff, a lot of them, like the six months, she barely fits in because she's so long, so she can't hardly straighten her legs. So that's an outfit that we have to kind of size up on because she's so long. See, I'm a big girl. See, I'm a long girl. Yeah. I am not sure if she is teething. But man, she drills up a storm. She likes to gnaw on everything. We actually started using uh, those little munch mitts that they put over on their hand and they can kind of chomp on it. Um, she kind of acts like she's already teething and I cannot believe she could possibly be doing that already. She kind of went through a period where she wasn't really liking her pacifiers. She is very particular on her pacifiers. She only likes the um, Soothies, and I believe those are Gerber. Those are the only ones that she likes. She does not like any of the other ones. Um, Liam could have cared less. He just liked pacifiers. So she's definitely not as attached as he was. Um, she likes the Wub and Ub, which she's got right now. And she, well, she likes to kind of suck on her thumb a little bit. She doesn't do it a lot, but she does it enough to where we notice. Breastfeeding has been going still pretty well we had like a week this past month where i think she just kind of got lazy with her latch because it was really hurting me a lot i couldn't hardly stand it um but i just kind of worked with her and really focused in whenever she would latch it's always my left side that i've had issues with but anyway we got past that and everything everything is good she has started um getting distracted while she's nursing. She likes to kind of kick her legs up and she kind of like will hug my boob and it's it's super cute because she's starting to get like a little bit more of a personality now. So along with that, she has been smiling a ton. She kind of coos at you and it's almost like she's trying to, well she is, she's trying to communicate. She actually had her first real laugh and it was the cutest thing. I actually caught that on video. I will insert that clip here. <laughs> but it was it was just the cutest. So she has been doing that. And then she's also been holding her head up really well and she's been trying to kind of sit up. We'll kind of hold her and she'll kind of try to balance a little bit. So she's just getting stronger and you know, doing all the things that they're supposed to be doing. She also hit another really big milestone. She rolled over for the first time. I also caught that on video and I will insert that clip here. Oh my goodness, look at you big girl. Yeah. And now she just will not stop. She'll roll over onto her belly and then back to her back and she's just all over the place. So it's, it's bittersweet because you know, you're happy that they're developing and they're doing what they're supposed to do, but then you're sad because they're, you know, they're growing up and they're getting bigger. <laughs> she still has the cradle cap pretty bad. Um, <laughs> we've tried a couple of different um, remedies, uh, breast milk, uh, what else? We've we done coconut milk, not coconut milk, coconut oil, and we've tried some different brushes. Once we actually figure out what works, I will update y'all so you can try it, but yeah, she's still got the cradle cap pretty bad. And I talked to the doctor and he said, you know, there's dandruff shampoos you can try and stuff, but it's not anything that's bothering her. She doesn't itch it or anything. So I'd like to put off as long as we can, just cause you know, you don't want to do extra chemicals where you don't need to, but we'll see. So there was a period this month where I was really starting to stress out because she just was not sleeping like by herself. She would only sleep on us or us, I say me, 
Um, you know, at night it's like she just wanted to be on me and just on the boob and I was just stressing out because I'm like, is she ever going to sleep by herself? And then all of a sudden, this past week, she's just, she started just going to sleep and we can put her down and she doesn't wake up. So, fingers crossed that that stays. I mean, she, we've been putting her down in her bassinet um, around 7, 8 o'clock and then she'll sleep usually until like midnight-ish. Um, wake up usually maybe around three or so that's usually a maybe that's like a half half the time or she'll sleep and then she usually wakes up around six or so for a feed and then she'll go back to sleep for another hour or so so she's still waking up you know often enough but she does have good periods of sleep and as long as she can sleep in her bassinet for some of that i'm a happy camper so her hair is still that light brown it has not gotten blonde yet i was thinking by now it would be blonde because mine was really blonde by the time i was four months but her eyes are still really blue they are so pretty and on the camera you just cannot see how blue they are but they're really pretty blue and she's just been doing really good i mean we so we just cannot get enough of her. See, so we can't get enough of her. And her and Liam play a lot. She loves to stare at Liam and Liam loves to just hold hands and tickle her and it, they just, they have a lot of fun together. So that is all that I have for this month's update video. If you liked it, please make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel below. I will see y'all in the next one. Bye.